it's day 125. 125 days of soap. I understand that like the whole thing is 365 days of soap, so I'm not even at the halfway point yet, but I am in triple digits right now and that's wigging me out. And that has nothing to do with what we're making today except for it's day 125. But before I tell you what it is we're making on day 125, Hi, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are here for another round of 365 days of soap, and you're here on day 125. And today we're actually making the lotion accompaniment to yesterday's magic bar. Now, if you tuned in yesterday, you would have watched me make a super awesome and beautiful and bright and fun soap that smells so good as part of a custom order for a sudzer. Now, this particular scent blend was something that she absolutely loved. I had, I stopped making that and I gave her a couple other options for her to try and she ultimately said, can you just make me a batch of this blend? And I said, of course I can. And then she wanted me to make her, you know, more products in the same blend. So we're doing the damn thing. And I made enough for, you know, you as well. So we're going to have some of this available for purchase on the website too. But today we are making the lotion version of yesterday's soap. And by we, I mean the soap apprentice is making it. And I don't actually know what oils or butters she put into it. So we're gonna go find out in the video. Okay, I have no idea what Georgia May is using for this. So I thought it'd be fun to guess based on the amount of oil left in the thing and the color and yeah, so I think she used argan oil there based on how much it was left in that container and how much I know that we have left at the shop this exact moment. And oh, that's cocoa butter. I know that one. That's cocoa butter. That's that's cool. Yay. Now I'm going to text her and see if I was right with that. So it looks like she's going to be doing just a two oil just one oil, one butter. And then obviously we have the emulsifying wax that goes into this. And then also she'll put the stearic acid in it. And then she will put that all in the microwave and it will melt down and get to a heat of around 170 degrees. And while she's doing all of this, the distilled water is also heating up to, you know, around 170 degrees as well. And uh, so yeah, it looks like she's using just two one oil and one butter, so argan oil and um, cocoa butter, which is actually a really good combination for a a lotion, right? Because I, I, I honestly believe that you should employ the keep it simple sudzer, the kiss method, as often as you possibly can when, uh, you know, when making products, because there is something to be said about an uncomplicated batch. Argan oil is obviously going to be really good for collagen and elasticity repair, so that's absolutely awesome to put into a lotion. And cocoa butter is also great for that, but it's also, they're both very emollient, you know, oils and butters, right? Argan and, and cocoa butter. And so that actually really would help out with elasticity, with keeping your skin really hydrated, and it forms a nice barrier on the skin to protect it. So yeah, just those two in combination, the way that she did it, 
that's that's good that's actually a really good lotion and it's fairly uncomplicated we don't have seven different products that go into it now we uh, have melted down these oils and emulsifying waxes and the stearic acid and the emulsifying waxes and stearic acid those are help, going to help stabilize the solution essentially and emulsify this and create a new solution and the biggest part with lotion the most important part with lotion is uh, the amount of time that you mix it right so because if you don't mix it long enough the breakdown of the fatty acid chains and the water molecules will not happen and it will not allow the emulsifying wax and the stearic acid to use as its co-wax, its co-emulsifier uh, to solidify into a lotion. So the um, mixture is going to fall, fall out of solution. So what you're going to be left with is oil and water, right? Separated, like when you make oil and water, you know, like you know, oil and vinegar dressings and stuff. Yeah, oil and water don't mix, right? So you're forcing them to mix, essentially. You're using mechanical intervention, your, your, your stick blender, to force them to mix and turn into lotion and keep them in a stable solution. And so for that, we, we tend to blend for at least two minutes with every stage, with every stage of the mixing. So she just put in you know the oils and the e-wax into the distilled water. She blended that for two minutes. Again, I speed this all up. So you can go back and check the timestamps and be like, uh-uh, she didn't mix it for two minutes, but I speed it up. And then after the first mix, uh, she go ahead. She, she will go ahead and put in the scent blend. Now again, this is the magic scent blend. So it's the same one from the uh, batch of soap that we made yesterday. And it's, it's magical. It's the amber flower and the lily and the something else, whatever. It's delightful. It does actually smell like a magical fall evening stroll under a full moon in a movie that you want to be a part of. Like A Walk to Remember, but I wouldn't want to be a part of that movie. And I bet most of you don't even remember that movie because it was like, I was a child when that came out. Why did I? Whatever. But yeah, it smells great. And so after the, the, the scent goes in, the scent blend goes in, we mix it up for another two full minutes. You know, keep that, keep that going. The stick blender gets very hot and it doesn't want to continue working for this long. Like, what are you doing to me? Why are you being so mean? But you have to keep mixing. That's the, that's the easiest way to ensure that your lotion is being lazy and not like doing the full mix is the easiest way to ensure that your lotion falls out of solution and it's technically fixable because you can actually just dump it all back in heat it up and you know just mix it again with lotion but why would you want to right just just mix it and i know it's not fun it's not a fun thing but it's there are lots of things that you can do while you are mixing the you know soap and or the lotion rather sorry Georgia May just texted me and she told me what she put in the oil in the lotion and she said it was argan oil so I was right I was totally right look at me go and that's awesome again a great blend argan oil and cocoa butter that's a really good blend for especially for a summer lotion when you know your skin is kind of well around here we get less uh, we don't get any rain during the summertime or you know we get less rain we still get rain it never actually stops raining up here in the Pacific Northwest but you know you, so it's good during the drier time of the year really but anyway she has mixed it for another two minutes and now she's putting in her extract and now for this extract she is using chamomile which is great because it's nice and it's a very gentle soothing extract which is obviously delightful. This is totally something that you're going to want on your skin to help out with any sort of, you know, burns or irritations or, you know, skin, whatever. Like you saw a couple days ago when I uh, had my, my fat hand during the creeper soap video because I got bit by a mosquito. Yep. Chamomile. That, that's, that's good for that. That helps out. And yeah, I actually should have made a like bug be gone lotion bar or something following that because that was a wretched experience. There's nothing fun about that. And 
Yeah, so we're still mixing. We're doing the mixy mix thing. We're gonna mix for another two minutes after we put the, in the extract and the uh, the Optifin, which she put in, the ND. And again, you can let your mind wander and do all kinds of fun things while you're sitting there for two minutes doing the exact same thing for what feels like an eternity. You can um, compile your grocery list. You can try to remember all of the names of the seven dwarves. That one's always fun for me. You can, um, well, that's it. I, I'm done now. I, I don't have any more. See, the mixing is so, it's the same thing for two minutes, like three times. And I don't know, maybe you're fine with that. But for me, that's, that's really hard. But you know, she did the thing and we're ready to pour. Now we're going to pour this in two different types of containers today because again this was for this is a custom request from a Sudzer and she ordered just two of the you know eight ounce amber bottles and so for the rest of this batch we're going to pour into the smaller four ounce bottles and we're going to have them available in a gift set for the entire magic line because it's delightful and a whole gift set in one sense is always fun like themed things are, are cool. And these amber bottles are just all of the awesome in the whole entire world. I really do love them. I love being able to use these over a plastic for sure. Unfortunately, it increases my cost to whatever. It's it's all fine. It's worth it in the end. And that's, you know, I just, I have issues with having to increase costs to do, to do the right thing for the planet. Like, it should be backwards. It, plastic should cost more, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, the rest of these guys are going to get filled up, and everything is going to set overnight, uncapped, so it can cool down really nicely before we cap it up and, you know, get ready to, to do the things. And it will be ready, you know, tomorrow to use and, you know, label and all of, you know, those things, so said aforementioned things. And yet, yeah, as far as this goes with lotion, there, you can tell, honestly, in a lot of cases, whether or not you have a good batch, because as you are pouring it, because it cools down to at least 120 degrees before you pour it into your containers, right? And uh, if your lotion, if your solution is not properly emulsified, there will already be some separation that you will see in most cases at this point, at the pouring stage. And so, this is a good indication right now that it's a nice milky consistency. There's no, there's no signs of obvious like pockets of oil or some separation going on. So it's going to be a great lotion, but you know, sometimes that doesn't work out anyway. Like you didn't mix long enough and it looks like it's going to be fine. And then you ended up with a solution that still, you know, fell out of, out of solution really. And so what you do at that point is you just put them back in the your container, warm them up again, and get your stick blender out and mix them enough that time. You know, just fix it. And then that will teach you to actually sit there for the two minute bursts at each increment and do the thing. And I'm not speaking from experience. I, I'm not. I totally am. <laughs> the, the emulsifying of lotion is whatever but it's good it's so good and again this is such a great blend that she used i'm really proud of her this is a a really luxurious uh experience for your skin really with the argan and the shea two two just two products just just two oils it's nice but the nice and easy but the moisture benefit and all of the you know the, the vitamins and the antioxidants and all of the it's it's a slam dunk combination those two so I'm very proud of her for selecting what she did. It was a very good call. And that makes me happy because it's like, you know, she, she, she's doing the thing. She totally knows how it all works. Yeah, and that's a day 125, the Magic Bowl Lotion. Mm -hmm. And there it is, the Magic Lotion. And as far as the actual oils and butters and the combination and the percentage, the water percentage that she used in it, 
It's definitely a magic lotion. It's a really good hydrating one. It's gonna be one of those that goes on really well, really easily. You don't have that weird white film with it. You don't feel greasy. And also it's not, you know, made out of nothing but water. And so you won't feel dry five minutes later. So it's magic. It's, it's a really good blend. This is where I like to keep my liquid lotions almost all the time. It's about a 70% blend. I do a thicker lotion if I'm doing like a cream for a face, but then again, you're calling it a cream and not a lotion. But yeah, as far as the oils and butters and everything she selected for this, this was, this was a slam dunk. She did a good job. I'm very proud of her. And the scents, it's good. I told you about it yesterday. It's amazing. It's a really, really lovely blend. And I'm excited to have this lotion in the line for a limited time. Now we do have the lotions individually for purchase if you're into the liquid lotion type of thing. And they are also going to be in a gift set at the end of the week with the soap, the lotion and two other products that we are making for that gift set but i can't tell you about that because that's you know tomorrow's content really so that does it for me today if you are interested in getting the liquid lotion again you can get it on the website supplicate.com if you're interested in following me on social media do the things i'm there and if you're interested in more soapy antics subscribe to the channel because today is day 125 which means I'll be back tomorrow for 126. Now, I do appreciate you being here with me today. You thought I was gonna say it again, huh? But yeah, I do appreciate you being here with me again for another round of 365 days of soap. I am done for today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.